Now let's talk about the main challenges that we face with fully guided surgery protocols. First challenge will be how do we design the provisionals before the surgery with open third-party software? Number two is how do we place the implants exactly as planned in terms of the depth of the implant and also the indexing or the hex of the implant? Let me show you how we could do that with the R2Gate protocol. Number one, how do we design the provisionals before the surgery with open third-party softwares? Well, in the R2Gate software, when you're treatment planning your implant, you have the option to export a lot of different types of abutments from the software. These different types of abutments could be either a scan abutment, and you could use that scan abutment and model in order for you to be able to design the crown before the surgery. Number two, you can also export a stuck abutment from the R2Gate software. And you could also export a multi-unit abutment. And that allows you to design the prosthesis before the surgery. Now, challenge number two would be how do we place implants exactly as planned in terms of the implant depth and the indexing. And I'll tell you how we could do that through a special implant carrier and a special window in the surgical guide design. When you're placing your implant through the surgical guide, we have two rules that you need to apply. Rule number one, during placing the implant through the surgical guide, I need to make sure that this horizontal marking right here, the silver mark, if it coincides with the top of the surgical guide, it means that this implant has been placed to the correct depth. On the other hand, if the green markings in the carrier show through the built-in window in the surgical guide, it means that this is also the flat side of the hex. So right now, with R2Gate, I can place the implant to the correct depth that I plan for, and also with the correct hex position as well. In this video, we're going to be using our surgical guide for drilling, so right now I'm drilling directly through my surgical guide and now when it comes to the implant placement I'm now placing my implant through the surgical guide I prefer to place the implants first by hand and then I place the implants with the handpiece when you're placing the implant with the handpiece always stop about a millimeter to two millimeters before the final depth then start to use your torque ratchet and bear in mind that the first rule that we need to apply would be the vertical position or the depth of the implant. And right now, this would be the proper depth of the implant that I plan for. But what about the hex position of the implant? Is this the correct hex position that I plan for? No. In order for me to place the implant with the same hex position that I plan for, I could just Torque the implant down a little bit more until the green shows through the built-in window in the surgical guide. Right now, I have applied both rules, the apical coronal position, the depth of the implant, and the hex position as well. And this is how you place the implant with the most accuracy exactly as you planned it. The R2 gate surgical guide design is quite simple. It does not use sleeves and it does not use spoons. The reason why is because of the special design of the drills. The drills of the R2 gate surgical kits are composed of two parts. Number one will be the guide part and number two will be the drilling part. The guide part is a smooth part and this is the part that engages the surgical guide. So there is no danger when it engages the surgical guide. Also, it has been proven in the literature that using surgical guides without metal sleeves that are completely 3D printed actually reduces the lateral movements of the drills. So by using 3D printing with reduced sleeve diameter, that actually reduces the amount of wiggle and the amount of deviation that happens with the drills. Also, this is a more specific study that compared the R2Gate uh, software and the R2Gate surgical guides with other uh, different brands of surgical guides like the Simplant and the Nobel Guide and other types of surgical guides. And what we found was that the tolerance of the R2Gate 
surgical guides were actually significantly smaller than the others. The main reason behind the accuracy of the R2 gate surgical guides is actually the finishing protocol. So with the R2 gate surgical guides, in the finishing protocol what we do is after 3D printing the surgical guides, we don't only rely on the accuracy of the 3D printer, which actually varies from a manufacturer to another. What we do is to make sure that the inside of the surgical guide and the sleeve diameter is exactly 5 millimeters. we use what we call the finishing precision tools. By using these tools and passing them through the surgical guide, we make sure that the inside of the surgical guide is exactly the same diameter as the drills, which means that there is no wiggle space and no room for the drills to move and deviate.